Hello everyone and welcome to the video. I'm welcoming all two of you who I know will probably watch this video. This is definitely a video that I should have made weeks and weeks ago, if not months ago. So unless you're blind or you simply have not been keeping up with the channel, which is totally understandable by the way, I have not been really uploading that much at all. I've been uploading like once or usually twice a week it's rarely once a week i usually get two or three videos out a week but anyway so i'm basically going through this thing where pretty much every youtuber goes through at some point or another where it's like you get uh you know like you get successful i guess off one game and that's what you're known for but eventually you just don't want to play that game anymore but you want to make other content but the other content you make gets like literally no views and that just, you know, is really disheartening. And that's basically what I'm going through where I want to make videos. I don't really want to make that much Trove stuff. And that's pretty much why it, videos have been coming up so, like, <clears throat> uh, like, so infrequently. Because I'm basically only playing or I'm only uploading when I feel like playing Trove. That's why there's, like I said, there's, like, basically just no videos coming out. So essentially what's been happening is I basically feel obligated to play Trove because anything else that I put out just no one watches and like I said really disheartening it, it's just like why am I doing this right like I, I can't play the games that I really want to and like I said it, this is basically a mentality that you know an issue that basically just everyone goes through at some point or another you know with all this being said i'm not trying to guilt trip you guys or anything into watching my other videos it's perfectly fine if you only want to watch trove like i understand that's why you subscribed that's what you want to watch you know you're not forced to like my other content i'm just basically flat out saying that's why there has not been that many videos because like I said, I just feel obligated to play Trove at this point or else I'm not going to get any views. And I know that this is a really, really bad mentality to have. And I've been trying to break it for a very, very long time. But I've there's been some videos where I've actually put so much work and effort into. And then, you know, it takes me hours and hours to make. You wouldn't think it because some of my videos like seem really bad. But I have at least two videos that I think of right now that actually took me... I think uh, a day and a half to, you know, make and all that and then uploading them. And then it turns out that barely anyone watch that, watches them. It really disheartening. And, you know, it just makes me not want to do stuff. And the reason why this is such a flawed mindset, a bad mindset to have in general is because if you put out content and if you see that no one watches it and then just get discouraged to stop making videos, then it, it makes no sense because, you know, everyone starts from somewhere. You're not just going to make a, a YouTube account, make a video and have it get like 10 million views, right? So it makes sense. You have to start from nothing and build up. But it's especially harder for someone who has a community already in something and then they try to transition to another thing and then have that get, you know, like no views, uh, like no views in comparison. Not that my troll videos make like a substantial amount of views or anything, but still going from like a hundred to even like anywhere from a hundred to even 1000 views on a troll video and then like doing something that I actually enjoy. And having get it like, I don't know, 10, maybe 20 views, which is still something. But you can see it's significantly less than other stuff. And I just this personally, I don't understand because the games that I play, I think they're so much better than Trove. You know, I'm actually doing something. I'm not repeating the exact same thing over and over again. You know, I'm, I'm doing stuff. Stuff's getting accomplished. At least that's just the way that I see it. So, like, I just don't understand in general. But I, you know, people are into different things. I, I have no clue what people are thinking, what, what is going through people's heads at all. So a couple days ago, I was actually watching one of my favorite YouTubers and he's a guy with like, I, I think two point something million subs. Not that that really matters too much, but he put out a video, I think a month or two ago where he was basically just talking about stuff, thanking the community and whatnot. And lo and behold, he basically comes out. And says exactly what I'm doing and he like, you know, he's giving out this like heartfelt speech and all that, it's, you know, it sounds all cool and whatnot. And it's really, I don't know, when you hear from someone else, it's really inspiring. Like, 
you know, especially when they're your favorite YouTuber and you see that they're so successful, their community loves them, they have so many subs, I guess the subs does matter now that I think about it, but he basically said all the stuff that I've been saying and basically everything, everything that I've said in this video, but like I said, when you hear from someone else, especially someone who you really look up to and like, like love their content, it really hits you differently. It makes you think, and especially when they're like, do it, just do it. Just, you know, just don't care. Do it. You will eventually succeed. And, you know, like I said, that just hits differently. With all that being said, I'm not sitting here trying to justify everything that I've done, like, you know, why I haven't been uploading and all that. I'm just basically coming out here saying what's going through my head, you know, why stuff is happening the way it is. So, yeah, there's not too much more stuff that I wanted to say. One thing I do, I do want to say, though, is I want to, I've said this so many times now, I don't even know how many times I've said this, but I really do want to start streaming and all that. I think I'm gonna, I, I want to stick with Twitch, but I probably won't, like, I'll probably just forever be on and off and go back to YouTube and do, and all that. But if you want to follow me on Twitch, it's just Nintendo Gamer. This was back when I had Gamer in the name tag, not just Nintendo, because Gamer is kind of cringe. But anyway, I digress. Sorry for all the ums and all that throughout the video. I'm not reading a script or anything. I'm literally just thinking up stuff as I go. That's one thing that I need to get way better at. I need to at least make a list of things, like jot down a list of stuff that I want to talk to. I think that would be more easy for me. Well, it, it's a good starting point, you know, not just making full out scripts, but rather just jotting ideas and, you know, points of interest that you want to talk about. I think that's what a lot of people end up doing. So yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitch, it's just twitch.tv slash Gamer. I guess I'll have a link in the description just taking you to it. A lot of times, I really don't have a theme for anything that I stream. I kind of just stream, you know, random stuff. As the name implies or, you know, may suggest, I like to stream a lot of Nintendo games. Like, uh, I think the last one that I streamed before Trove was uh, Smash. Now it was Mario Maker 2 and then Smash Ultimate, both games which I actually really like. The problem is, I kind of stick to retro games or games that just aren't hard to run at all. All of the more popular games are games that require, you know, modern CPUs and all that, at least to run decently. My computer is kind of, you know, ancient. I mean, I'm using an i7-2600, a processor from like, what, 2012? It's kind of you know, kind of out there. So there's a lot of games that I want to play. It's just my computer can't run it. Like I love games like, you know, called of duty Warzone, but I just can barely run it. I can, it's kind of, you know, it's playable, but it's just not really enjoyable, at least for me. Heck, I even tried to play hyperscape because I got access to that. And that game does not run as good as I'd like it. Like I'm even running really low. And when there's more than, I don't know, five or so people, my frames just drop. Anyway, I'm just rambling on at this point. I'm just going to end the video here, guys. So if you took the time to watch the video, thanks. It means a lot to me. This video was about nine minutes. Not that that really matters. I'm just looking at the time. So anyway, hope you understand. I'm going to try to be a lot better about it. But I know I've said, like, I've made these claims in the past and I've almost never held up to it. So I... 100% understand if a lot of you guys have lost faith in me, but I genuinely am trying and I want to do, I want to do more stuff that I actually like. That's a big thing. Cause like I said, I've just been feeling obligated to play Trove and I like Trove. Don't get me wrong, but I have just played it so much where it's like, what am I doing anymore? You know, what? I mean, I can always go on the alts, but again, I played the game so much that it just feels way too stale for me. I think I, I really, <clears throat> I like MMOs, but creating content for them, I think is my main issue because I've been playing RuneScape, but to create content on it, I think that'd be hard for me because I don't know. I just wouldn't know where to start or like what to do you know like it would just feel really weird to me but anyway i'm not saying that trove is completely gone from the channel so you don't 
technically need to unsub because oh joe's not a trove youtuber anymore or joe's like the fact that i even just called myself a trove youtuber is something that i don't know if i like because i don't want to be labeled as a youtuber for one thing i mean it's not bad to be but it's like i just want to do multiple things you know like i don't want to be stuck with one thing and one thing only especially because trove is let's be honest trove is basically a dying game it's dead considered like considered by many people it's just dead and to be known as like to be a trove youtuber to be a youtuber of a game that's kind of you know just ran its course and it's kind of dead it's just like what's the point you know like minecraft youtubers and stuff like that <clears throat> It makes sense. You know, that game is alive. It's healthy. You know, everyone loves it. And if I was a YouTuber for Minecraft, you know, Minecraft is so unique and there's so many mods and there's so many things to do, like adventure maps and all that stuff. So, you know, to keep it interesting. But Trove is just, it's Trove. What can, what can I say? Anyway, again, I'll, I'll put my Twitch in the description for anyone who wants to follow me just because why not? And I will see you in the next video. And see you guys later and goodbye.